Hi, welcome to my channel. I'm Mrs. Ezine and this channel is catered to helping students succeed in the university. In today's video, I'll be teaching you 10 public health problems of 2021. Don't go anywhere. haven't subscribed to my channel hit that subscribe button now and also follow me on other social media platforms to get more academic tips and tutorials so this video is specially for public health students and it's an online lecture for the course introduction to contemporary issues in public health so today's online lecture will be looking at 10 pro public health problems of 2021 you should know that this is our second lecture on this course if you haven't watched the first lecture make sure you click that link in the description box below to watch the first one before this one so that you understand the flow of the lecture if you haven't subscribed do so and click that notification bell so you'll be notified of the latest um, lecture online lecture that i'm going to give on this course okay so let's go ahead and um, okay so like i said we'll be looking at 10 public health problems of 2021 now remember in our first lecture introduction to contemporary issues in public health we looked at the different the urgent um, challenges of the next decade published by the world health organization so in today's lecture we're narrowing, narrowing it down to 2021 what are the 10 public health problems of 2021 let's go so every day there are health epidemics affecting our populations some of these health, public health concerns have been made even more challenging thanks to covid 19 yes now, while the novel coronavirus continues to take center stage, issues like climate change, opioid abuse, and the rest continue to impact our society. So just because COVID-19 came into play last year or ending of last two years doesn't mean that the other diseases have gone on break. They are still there thriving in our society. So these public health issues have not taken a break during the pandemic. Some have even escalated. At this point so however there is good news thanks to the advancement of modern medicine and rapid technology progress is being made on how to curb these diseases research is being done treatment plans are being implemented and lives are being saved on a daily basis now public health prof professionals are the ones to thank for this improvement yeah god bless us <laughs> so According to the CDC and the World Health Organization, the following are among the top health, public health problems of modern day this year. So we have COVID-19, mental health conditions, alcohol and substance abuse, food safety, healthcare associated infections, heart disease and stroke, HIV, motor vehicle injuries, nutrition, physical activity and obesity, and the last one is prescription of drug overdose. Okay. So let's head to the first one, COVID-19. Of course, this is the Baba, according to us Nigerians. So the ongoing pandemic remains front and center for public health professionals. At this moment, the deadly virus have, has put the whole world, the entire world, in a state of emergency. You saw how it went during the lockdown, right? Not one single country was left out during the lockdown. So the CDC continues to provide guidance on the precautions like mask wearing, social distancing, and other preventative practices. Healthcare professionals have come out of their retirement, those that went on retirement, and traveled to areas with high case counts to help fight this um, disease. Now, thanks to the diligent work of scientists and public health researchers, multiple vaccines have been developed and are helping to curb the infection rate. <laughs> As of this time last year, you know what we went through during the COVID-19 lockdown. And that period, we're like, ah, oh, when would the vaccines come out and all that? But we are so grateful that they are finally out and have been distributed to people. Okay, second one is mental health conditions. One of the many unfortunate side effects of the pandemic, COVID-19, has been a decline in our mental health due to social, you know, the social isolation. Quarantines, remote work, and distance learning have impacted people of all ages from zero to, 
you know, the old people. So we tight restrictions on social gatherings where we are not, we are not a, allowed to have uh, more than 50 people doing a burial ceremony and all that. Many people are experiencing severe feelings of isolation and distress, especially if you are living all alone. Now, in fact, the rates of depression and anxiety are on the rise, which is largely due to social isolation and loneliness. Wow. Now, according to Forbes, 70% of teens are currently struggling with mental health issues. 60% of youth and adults are not getting the mental health treatment they need. As more people need mental health services, we can expect to see a growing demand of public health and mental health workers. So you should know the area by now, you should know the area you want to go into in public health. Mental health is a very, very good aspect to consider next is alcohol and substance abuse much like mental health substance abuse is another growing concern this was among the top public health problems even before the pandemic started but it has been amplified due to the days of self-isolation when the person is all alone in the house nothing to do of course the person will want to um, go into alcohol drinking and substance use studies report that since the enactment of the state at home orders which started last year early last year suspected overdoses have increased by 18 percent according to the cdc 40 percent of u.s adults report struggling with mental health or substance abuse wow food safety each year each year one in six americans get sick from eating contaminated food and three thousand die from disgust Due to this constant potential public health threat, the CDC tracks foodborne illnesses and works with the Food Drug Administration Agency sorry, to ensure proper food safety practices. Public health professionals that specialize in food safety and inspection are also in high demand. So you have seen another aspect, food safety, that you can enter into and you can see that um, help is really needed in that area so next is healthcare associated infections now we know that hospitals help patients to recover and heal from illnesses and injuries right but we don't always think about the healthcare associated infections that come from the treatment so our healthcare professionals like us are also at risk of HAIs. This can be caused by the devices used in medical procedures like catheters or ventilators. They can also happen at surgery sites known as surgical site infections. Now, while significant pro progress has been made in preventing some of these HAIs, there is much work to be done. According to the CDC, on any given day, about one in 131, about one in 31 patients have at least one a h i h a i okay so they come into the the hospital with one disease and can um develop another one while staying at the hospital crazy right so heart disease and stroke according to the american heart association's latest findings heart disease remains the leading cause of death worldwide worldwide Experts predict that the broad influence of COVID-19 pandemic will extend that ranking for years to come. Okay, so specifically, they anticipate that the global burden of cardiovascular disease will grow exponentially over the next few years as part of the evolving long-term effects of coronavirus. Really, this COVID-19 really did us a lot. Naturally, this means that heart health is among the top public health concerns for physicians and public health workers today okay so it's just it's just going higher every day due especially due to this pandemic but we are definitely working on it to reduce it hiv forever on the top list okay i'm sure till they find a cure which they haven't so there have been enormous strides in the treatment and prevention of hiv but there are still millions who die each year from hiv aids yes millions still die as covid 19 vaccines were being developed in 2020 which was pretty fast many health experts warned that vaccines can take years to come to fruition 
the most popular comparison was made with the promised vaccine for HIV, which was many, many, many years ago. Now, to this day, there is no vaccine that helps prevent the virus or treat those infected. Scientists continue to work to develop an HIV um, um, AIDS vaccine, but there is none right now. But glory be to God, there is one for COVID-19, which was really spreading very very fast according to who more than 70 million people have contracted the infection since the epidemic began and about 33 million have died okay today there are around 38 million people who live with hiv and definitely need support motor vehicle injuries distracted driving drunk driving and vehicle safety are among the top concerns for safety on the road according to the national highway traffic safety administration okay they said okay this is also part of it motor vehicle injuries people not wearing their seat belt proper car seat installation driver's license testing continue to be ranked among the top public health concerns okay especially here in our country nigeria we still have people not wanting to wear their seat belts especially when they are on the express or a highway as we call it here okay so it's very 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 important the next is nutrition physical activity and obesity and nutrition and physical activity is another public health issue that has only been amplified by the covid 19 pandemic yes so this was among the top public health problems even before the outbreak began but um with the cdc reporting obesity which affects um which affected 93.3 million american adults and more than 13.7 million children are not left out but those numbers will likely grow significantly in the near future why because of the covid 19 outbreak yes so because people are now staying at home so you are likely to eat more food relax not exercising not going out because of the lockdown and so they increase in weight a global study published in the journal obesity found out that lockdowns related to the pandemic led to dramatic changes in health behaviors prompting people around the world to cut back on physical activity and eat more junk food yes more junk food of course trust the, the, the junk food providers they definitely made a way to deliver food to their house to your house to my house if you need it and of course people were not really doing anything of course we're eating more and so this could um you know lead to um a rise in obesity so this is a serious public health concern for us since obesity increases the risk of chronic illnesses like diabetes blood pressure the heart problem we are talking about that is the top most concern and obesity is also considered considered as a high risk factor for COVID-19, wow, yes, a high risk factor. So you should know that obesity is a very, very serious public health problem. The good news is that over the years, the rise of obesity has led to more awareness and education surrounding proper nutrition and physical activity. So public health educators like us have been paving the way for better nutrition and deepening self-care in communities. So we have been spreading the word and we will keep spreading the word about um, creating that awareness about obesity. Okay. So that you know that they will know that. And of course, us will know that it's a serious public health problem. And if not continue can lead to um, heart disease and other diseases which can lead to um, a high mortality and morbidity rates okay so next one is the last one it is prescription drug overdose the drug overdose epidemic primarily driven by opioid abuse has killed more than seven seven hundred and fifty thousand people since 1999 wow Two out of three of the drug overdose deaths in 2018 involved an opioid. In 2017, the U.S. Department of Health and Human Services declared the opioid epidemic a public health emergency, very serious, and announced a strategy to help combat the problem. Now, as noted above, experts have seen a rise in substance abuse and drug overdoses since COVID-19 began. So, lockdown orders, of course, have increased the feelings of boredom. They are bored, nothing to do, which in turn has increased the risk of substance abuse. So, they go ahead and take all kinds of substance. Okay. So, in addition, with many people at home alone, there is a higher risk of overdosing. Okay. Nobody, nobody to cocktail them. 
tell them what to do without anyone knowing or being there to call for help so if they were if there was no lockdown of course people want to call come in and check on them but if there's no one to do that there's a higher chance or higher risk of them being um overdosed and that can lead to death okay so it's very very um important and that so we have come to the end of today's lecture and i hope you really 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 enjoyed it if you have any questions please leave it in the comments below and i'll try my best to answer it if it's very urgent you can reach me on my whatsapp my whatsapp number is available or you can send me an email but i know whatsapp is a very 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 fast way to get me or you can call me if you know me if you have my number if not you can collect it from your course rep course representative and um, call me and i'll definitely answer your question okay so if remind that if you haven't watched the first video please go and watch it click that notification bell so that you can be notified of the next video okay it's compulsory to watch this so that you'll be prepared for your examination once again thanks for watching and see you in my next video bye